Hi, this is Peter. Um, did you know there is another portal within Microsoft Azure to manage your devices? Now, as I travel around uh, with work, I visit many, many organizations, and some people are aware of this and some people are not, so I thought I'd just do a very quick video um, to demonstrate there is another portal. Instead of just using Intune through the Azure portal, there's something else that Microsoft have introduced since Ignite 2018 called device management.microsoft.com traditionally if you were managing Intune uh, or even Microsoft 365 if you're looking at the bigger picture you would use the Azure portal now as you can see I'm in the Intune portal now and I can do my enrollments de uh, devices apps all that kind of thing conditional access sometimes I need to jump out of here and I need to use other blades so for example log analytics or if I want to go and take a look at Azure Active Directory then I have to jump over here and then jump into the relevant blade and so on and so forth um, which is okay but you'll also notice in the standard Azure portal there's actually tons and tons of other stuff Azure Cosmos DB as someone who really manages um, devices and works with Intune day to day I've never touched Azure Cosmos DB and there's obviously lots and lots of other stuff in there related to things like IaaS um, you know, provisioning virtual machines and all that, all that kind of thing that really doesn't concern me day to day. So Microsoft have um, taken an exercise to basically generate scenario based dashboards um, that you can use or co consoles, whichever you prefer, prefer to call them, uh, which kind of encapsulate those typical activities that a, a device management user uh, or certainly admin would normally do. So in here you'll see you've got much of the same features as you do in Intune. Um, as you can see here, device enrollment, client apps. We've got the same device enrollment, client apps, conditional access. Now, I've just got a few there. They're the default ones. Just to note, if I click all services, there's actually a few more available to me. So I can pick and choose actually to some extent which ones I want to see. So for myself, I'm doing some work with upgrade readiness. So uh, I'm going to use Log Analytics, so I'll keep that in there. Things like ebooks, maybe you love a good ebook, so we'll keep that in there. Um, the overall tenant status, I'm not too concerned about. Troubleshooting, maybe I'll take that out. Oh, security baselines, that's quite new and nice and shiny. Maybe we'll add that in there. So, what we can do is obviously add those and change those around. Now, just to add as well, much like the regular Azure portal, we can do a little bit of customization on here. So we can make this view look really what's relevant to myself. So if I go in and edit here, I might want to call this something a bit more custom to me. Something like that. Uh, and actually, I don't like the layout of these. I'm not really interested in the welcome, so I'll get rid of that. Um, okay, I want to maybe add a few clocks. I work with you know people in different countries, for example. So let's add a UK clock and we'll be 24 hour done with that let's add another one and you know, let's add in Seattle for example so they are Pacific US time let's add that and done you get the idea you can move these around um, you know display them however you want so just a bit of customization there that, that, that you might like okay that's really it I just wanted to show um, a short video to introduce that it's a little bit sort of delayed from Microsoft Ignite, but as I say, a lot of people are not aware this exists. All you need to do is go to devicemanagement.microsoft.com. You don't need to add anything. You don't need to enable anything. Just go to the address, obviously log in with the relevant user, and you should see this kind of um, filtered view. Now, you know, hopefully that should be useful to you. Thanks for watching. I'm <laughs> sorry.